In this lesson, we'll make the dots fly around on the screen and by usage of camera, we'll make them fade off on the sides. Welcome in the second lesson of this animation, where we'll adjust the dots to work with our entire logo composition. Okay, you've prepared the first flying dot. Now what I want you to do is to select both those layers and we will pre-compose them. Right click, select pre-compose and we can for example name it flying dot. We will know what this was about, it's a flying dot. Let me extend this. Okay, we are within our composition too, still. Now I would like to duplicate this dot. I hit this layer and I press Ctrl D. Now I have this dot two times. What I want to happen is this animation right here, one to finish here and one to finish here. The simplest way to do this is select the second dot. You can also call it second dot if you want, if you want, if you want to know what you are editing and press R to open up rotation. Since we'll also use a camera on this layer and cameras only work on 3D layers, please also enable 3D for both of these layers. Now you see much more rotation options appeared, but that's no problem. This is because now we have as well the Z rotation. Here we only have two dimensional rotations. Here we have three dimensional. Now I'm at this point. I want this animation to end here. Now I simply need to rotate it around to an exact amount of negative 180 and watch what happens. We have the same animation, boom and boom. Perfect. We have it copied. I see it's a bit too big. It should be closer to the middle. You can either go inside the composition and change those, the placing of this object or simpler. You select both layers and you make them smaller. Now, if you have a small logo, you can even make them smaller, but I think this would be okay or a bit bigger. Let me preview this. Boom, boom. All right. This looks really nice. Now, the last step I wanted to take in this composition, just to make it more fancy and to not harm any composition more, I'll create a camera. Cameras are also a very advanced topic, but we will use only simple tricks, which will make this animation better. Please right click on the timeline, select new and select camera. It can be a standard 35, 33 focal length, 55 degrees of angle of view. I have the camera and I'll also select new nil object. The nil object helps us to control the camera without harming the camera. I always call it camera one man. So I know who is the boss of this camera and I tell it, Hey camera, this is your parent. You should obey this man. Okay. Now I have total freedom in editing. I'll set of course 3D because else we could not work with the camera properly. And the only thing I want to work with is the position. You can see as I fly around with the camera, something is happening on the screen and I'll work with the Z axis because the Z axis comes closer and further to me. If you can't imagine that you can select two views and you will see what happens here with the camera. As I fly with the camera around, the camera goes back and forth on the screen. Okay. Let me place zero. Let me select one view again. And as this animation happens, I want the first keyframe. A few frames forward, I want it slightly to come towards me. I will add a value of 200. And as the animation ends about here, I want the camera to fly much, much further away. In fact, I want it to fly away on the screen. That's why I select a crazy amount of 1500. So it's not visible. Now I will preview how does this animation look. Too quick, definitely too quick. So I take the cameraman and I place it forward. Something like that. This goes too slow. I have to preview it a few times until I like the result. I still see that's too quick. Somewhere here, the animation should happen first and then they should fly out. Exactly. That's the effect I wanted to have. As the animation fades, it ends. I want them to fly to the side. The camera gives me so much freedom because I can hover around with those keyframes 
and find the perfect spot until I like this animation. Maybe those keyframes could be a bit closer here. So I see the first 200 points going a bit towards me, then it ends and it flies off. Look, how nice does this look? Normally, you would need several keyframes to change the position, fly around, tinker, and here we can do this only by usage of the camera. I hope you did understand how to work with the camera. Please prepare the same thing in your animation and then we'll follow with our next step.